Hello, it's Leah with Scraptastic Patchwork. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm taking a bit of a break from my home decor project. I'm doing a fabric de-stash and reorg the Horg series. I will put that link below as well as I'm working on crazy quilt style curtains for my sewing studio. So I will also link that below. But I haven't made something for myself as far as a garment for a little over a month and I typically make all my own clothes and I am always upcycling something. So I kind of am going through withdrawals. So I thought I would take these four tops and make a kind of a tunic style comfy top for myself. So this first one here is a linen cotton blend. The middle two here are cotton and then the top one here is rayon. And how I do this usually is I take something that fits me pretty good as a base or a foundation. So this top one here is what I'm going to use for that. So I'll be using the shoulder, probably the majority of the front of it. I'll show you more detail. And then the only problem with that one is that it's not long enough. So all of these I got thrifting, by the way. I don't buy anything new. I thrift or use what I already have and make something new with it. So the, the middle two, I love the arms, the sleeves, and there's some ruffles on both of them tiered that I'm going to use for something. And then I love this one's print and the, the weight of it. And I even like the neckline, but it just, it didn't fit me right in all other areas. I mean, the sleeves fit just fine, but anyway, so I'm going to do something pretty simple that I have done on many occasions and I thought I would take you along for that ride. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is the rayon, the foundation that I'm going to use. The first thing I'm going to do is, sorry, is I'm going to just split this seam here or cut the seam. And I'm not someone who ever worries about picking a seam when I'm doing an upcycling project. I just feel like it's a waste of time. And what you lose in that seam is just not worth it to me. So um, I'm just going to cut on either side of this seam up to the armpit. And then I'm going to cut that seam on this side as well. And, you know, I have never, even when I was at my skinniest, I have never worn tight clothes. So it's easy you know, I never worry about losing the amount of fabric that I need if I lose that seam. I mean, seriously, what is that? Like a total of an inch that I would lose? I just, I don't wear anything tight enough to, for that to matter. So, <laughs> and I'm going to add to this seam. So save, save your time. Um, now I'm going to do the other seam. So as I said, I loved this top, but it wasn't long enough. So I'm going to make it longer as well as add some flare to the side seams. Whoops. See? Uh oh, I took too much. Who cares? Blonk. <laughs> oh, this is not an exact science. So I, I, I've been making my own clothes for a long time and I do not like patterns. So I am not a, a garment maker that reads patterns. I just wing it. And because, as I said, I don't wear anything that hugs my curves, uh, you have that leeway. So I wear very boho-y 
things. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we'll move on to deconstructing the other tops. All right, so here's one of the cotton tops. I'm not gonna use these sleeves for this project, but aren't they cool? Love them. So I'll make sure that I give myself enough seam allowance to be able to sew it to something else. So like, I'm not caring at all about being careful, just giving myself seam allowance. And there you have a sleeve to add to something else. Same thing on this side. And don't be afraid, you know? I mean, what I paid, I think $4 for each of these. So, you know, if, if you've never done this before, just get yourself some Either, you know, crappy clothes that, or not crappy, but, you know, things that you don't care about cutting up and screwing up on of your own, or, you know, get some things thrifting and then just practice. So there I have two sleeves that I can use on another project. And then I am just going to basically make this back into fabric. So I'm going to cut my seams out of the sides I'm gonna leave the hem for now because I'm not sure if I'm going to use the bottom hem as my bottom hem on the new shirt that I'm making so I'll leave that for now but I will take the other side seam off it's hard on camera here but I probably would have been a little bit more careful and not wasted all this fabric, but that's okay. That's uh, in my new sewing studio, I have some such better setup so I don't screw up like that. And then I'm gonna do the same to the shoulder seams here. I love doing upcycling clothes because it really is creative and free flowing and just, it, it's just fun to not worry and not be structured. Okay, uh, okay, I'll probably just take out this and then I can decide how I'm gonna cut this up later. But get rid of this neckline. So there we basically, other than the darts, which I might just leave, and the hem, I have basically just a piece of fabric that I can use now to add. And this is something I'll probably use on another project. So I'm just gonna cut across and leave myself some seam allowance around here. So I'll save that for later. So again, I have another piece of fabric to use. So I went ahead and cut up all the rest of the tops that I had off camera. Basically all the same ways, just took all the seams off and made them back into fabric. And what I did with that darker blue is I left this ruffle that it had around the hem and I gave myself about three inches seam. And then I measured because this is what I'm going to add to the front and the back of this top. We're going to address the side seams in a bit, but let's just worry about the front and the back. So I measured not the ruffle, because of course that gives you, you know, fabric when you do a ruffle, but I just measured right straight across, right above here to see how much I had to work with and they were 22 inches, both the front and the back. So I went back to my main foundation piece here and I measured this front piece and this back piece and it was a bit longer than that. And since I'm adding, I'll be adding some fabric to the sides, I felt comfortable cutting this down. So what I did is you can lay your side seam out flat like this. 
so it's just one big long thing but that way you can trim it without worrying that you're making it wonky but I just made sure that I trimmed it the width here of the front panel and the back panel to 22 so now it matches this ruffle so now I can sew this front and back panel to the ruffle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have sewn my denim ruffle onto the front and the back. And what I did was I also added a lace overlay. And I do that oftentimes when it just seems that when you add when you sew two things together and it's quite obvious that that's what you did, it's nice to soften that a bit or add some other kind of design element that you then can carry on to another part. So I'll be adding this lace somewhere else, either maybe to the cuff or maybe to the neckline or maybe somewhere in the sides. I don't know yet. Maybe to the, the total hem. I don't know. So what I did is I just laid that lace on top of the denim ruffle and then I laid my each piece my my top front and back sandwiched those I mean at at different times I didn't do it all together <laughs> I sandwiched them together right sides together and then sewed it and then I also top stitched it because when I garment sew I just like it to make to make sure it's nice and secure. So I sew it and then I always top stitch it. And then that also helps it to lay flat. You don't want things puckering or, you know, sticking out, twisting. And then obviously I left, I left my variegated thread as the bobbin thread, but that just gives me a little added fun on the inside. So that's what I did. The next thing is we're gonna move on to the side seams. So the way I like to do this, and I have a little very crude sketch here, is I, I wear very boho-y things. So I want it to be an asymmetrical hem. I like things to flow. So the side seams, the side fabric is just gonna kind of layer down, not layer. Uh, I can't think of my words today. It's just going to be asymmetrical. I know that there's some kind of term that I'm not thinking of. Anyway, the way you do that is just a rectangle. So when you sew the length to this seam here, that is your length. And then the width will be the width of the measurement of the armpit to the end of your hem. So you can either double it or you can just lay it completely down here flat and you want to take the measurement of the front hem all the way to the back hem or you can just grab your armpit here and double it and that'll get your measurement as well. So the measurement for me, see, armpit hems together. This is 28. So that will be my width of my rectangle. You double that and you get your length. So that's 56. So I will have two rectangles now that I need to make, one for each side, 56 by 28. And so when you sew those on, so you start with the length and you just sew one whole side, and then you will have your one rectangle and then you do the other side and you'll have your other. I will show you that. And then it nicely drapes down on each side. Okay, I also wanted to mention 
all these little seams that I've been cutting off. I'm not throwing those away. Those will make a nice, cool, coordinated cuff to match my little tunic. So I'll show you that later. So the next step then is to grab all the other fabric that you cut from the other tops and you're going to make those two patchworked rectangles. So again, mine are 28 by 56 and I'm actually going to grab because I need it. I'm going to grab the sleeves from this linen shirt too. So I'll have to cut off more seams on these sleeves. Um, and I might, I might need to add something in addition, either a fabric I have or another top or something. Just depends on how I am going to do the patchwork here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a rectangle from this and we'll see what I have uh, for fabric. Okay, I have a rectangle done and I pieced in one other top that I had. I didn't want to use a lot of it because I had other plans for it. See, the problem is I'm in the middle of this reorg of my sewing room and so a lot of my supplies are not at the ready. So I do have many uh, clothes to upcycle, but I don't know where they all are right now so I did take a little piece of that it's tinsel I love the feel of tinsel okay so here is what I ended up with a couple pieces there piece here and then I added some of that ribbon now as you can see this is fabric so again, had I had access to all of my clothing to upcycle, I, I probably wouldn't have added a whole huge piece of fabric here. But I took from my stash, so I didn't go out and purchase a new piece of fabric. So it's still upcycling and using what you have. <laughs> but I really love this fabric. This is Moda Grunge. And uh, I thought it looked, worked really well. It brought out the darker blues. So again, my width is 28 and my length is 56. So I did have to add that a big old chunk of it to make sure I had enough fabric. And if I wasn't keeping a lot pieces of each of these tops for other projects, I probably could have done it, but I didn't want to. I want to keep those fun little details for other projects. So I'm actually kind of happy that I ended up having to add this piece because I hadn't used this fabric yet in anything and now I get to wear it. So that just shows you, you can use fabric that is normally intended for quilting and other patchwork project projects. You can absolutely use it in clothing as well. So a couple things to say. Um, one is when you're making these rectangles, three of the sides should be hemmed. So when I was cutting up these pieces, of course, I left some of these hems. And so you want to make sure that those are all on one side because you don't obviously the, the other length, the long length you don't need to have hemmed because that is going to get sewn to the actual top so keep all those hems that are are already hemmed <laughs> uh, together on one side and if you're going to add another piece in like this make sure that you hem this piece first before you add it here and Oops, I just realized I didn't top stitch this little area, so I have to do that real quick. Okay, so the other thing is, as I said, three sides need to be hemmed, so I went ahead and hemmed the short sides as well. So 
when I show you, because I did add my other rectangle to the top already, this is my last rectangle to add. Um, it's, I like my sides to drape really long, but you wouldn't have to have this that long. I kind of am making mine more so that I can actually wear it as a dress as well. I especially think this would look really cute in warmer weather with just um, cowboy boots and I wouldn't have to wear tights or leggings or skinny jeans or something. So I wanted it long enough so I could wear it as a dress. Um, and you'll see that I actually added a little bit more length to the front and back as well. So just remember that this width of this rectangle goes from your armpit, which is this un this raw edge here will be attached to the armpit and this will be the length to the bottom hem. So you just want to make sure that this is going to be long enough to cover you on the sides. So if you put your arms up, it's not going to reveal too much unless you're going to layer. Otherwise it wouldn't matter. But I just like to make sure that I have plenty to cover me on the sides. And I also like really long draping. So that's why it's so wide. It's that armpit to, to your hem measurement. Okay, let me show you what I've done to the top, to the main piece here. So this is it sewn onto the one side. So this is the other patchwork that I've done. I added that cool ribbon to this piece and patched it. Here's that other top that I added, that tensile that I love. So both sides are different and I like that. They're not matchy-matchy because of course it's patchwork. So, And that's the other thing is, you know, I certainly could have had one big piece, one big fabric, piece of fabric that I added to that to the side, but I love patchwork. And so I love the look of patchwork. I love making patchwork. I love the design challenge that taking pieces of clothing, cutting them up and making them fit like a puzzle. I like that. I know that it makes my life harder, <laughs> but I love it. You know, it's, it's just something I love to do. So certainly you wouldn't have to do that. You could have this whole thing be one solid piece of fabric. It does make it easier when you have like a skirt, a long tiered skirt, patchwork skirt that's already been made. That gives you much more fabric to work with. I've done that too. So just whatever pleases you. So this is what I did. So you take the length. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show you quick. I added some of that fabric on to make the front and the back a little bit longer. And what I didn't change the measurements, the length of this rectangle. So it's, it's actually did not reach the full length of the front and the back. So I had this bit piece on each side of both the front and back. So here's the both sides here that are going to be raw, that were going to be raw. I could have changed the measurements of my rectangle, but it was, I already had it made before I decided to add this piece. So what I did is I took some of the lace and I, I actually binded it. And I'm not sure if I like it like that. It kind of was not exactly what I was thinking about, but it works. So I'll go with it. <laughs> you certainly could do a edge stitch. So you wouldn't have had to do that or just maybe did your own rolled hem. I don't know. So this is the whole rectangle sewn on. 
So you start, if you didn't add this little piece that I did, you start at your bottom hem or your front hem with your rectangle and you just sew it to that whole long side seam that you split. See, this is the armpit right here. So one length, your long length is what you're gonna sew. And it's just, it, it lies flat, so it's not difficult to sew in. And you go all the way to the other hem. And that gives you that nice draped asymmetrical hem on each side seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew my next rectangle to my other side seam here. And I'll show you it finished. So since I ended up with quite a few scraps of various sizes and I ended up using, you know, that fabric here, so I have kind of couple good sized chunks. I think what I'm going to do is instead of just making a cuff and then showing it to you, I'm trying to use up all my scraps when I do a project and not having a ton of piles of scraps. I mean, I'm going through my reorg and I'm really trying to turn over new leaves here. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to if you're watching this in the future, I will link a video where I make, probably I'm going to make a little crossbody pocket purse as well as a cuff bracelet. And the reason why I'm do going to do the pocket purse is normally I add pockets to my tunics, but where I was going to add the pocket on this, that would make sense it was gonna to be too heavy because it was gonna be on the rayon. So I am gonna do a little kind of purse that I would wear with that tunic. Not that I am super matchy matchy, I am not. But anyway, we got enough fabric here, let's, let's do it. So if you're watching in the future, I will link that video below. If you're gonna watch this, right after I upload, this is going to be my next tutorial. So it'll be next week, next Wednesday. I will make two projects in one video with all these scraps. Okay, sound good? All right, now I'll show you the top finished.